But Max, are, uh, Max from from uh, Max is Canadian. I don't even know how you pronounce your your last name, Max. Um, asked the cheapest way for a GoPro owner would be to use an SSB or a receiver unit speaker. Um, is Max online? Max, if you're if you're if you're back, I. It depends. Do you? I don't. I know what you have now. Depending on what you have, if you have a, a, a mask, a guardian, or a spectrum with a buddy phone, probably the cheapest way would be to put your GoPro on a tray. You know what I mean by a tray? You have a mount and then get lights. GoPros like light. I mean, all cameras like light. You can get away without light if you're in shallows, in the shallow water, uh, and clear water. But all cameras like light, and there are some really nice, inexpensive videos. I didn't bring video lights with me. Well, actually, I, I do have uh, yeah, the solar light. Um, I think this one's no, it's not dead. I thought it was dead. Um, these things are just great lights. I, I really like the solas. Um, they, uh, but they all like light. But you can get them on. You put them on a tray and get arms. There's all different kinds of accessories. We don't sell them, uh, but there are other people that do like them, uh, that do sell them. And uh, but you put your GoPro on a tray. Um, and I didn't talk about. I did talk about that a little while back. Um, the nice thing about it on a tray is you're actually thinking of it as a video camera. Uh, mounting a, a camera to your mask, and I talked that, about that in accessories last week is that you can't, you, you, it's hard to think of your head as a camera mount. And literally, because when we're all looking around, you know, we're doing this, and I do it here, just what you're watching me do here is my head doesn't stay still. Um, but when you're shooting video with a, 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 a mask or helmet mask mounted uh, camera, you need to think of your head as the camera platform, so you're going to hold it still. So you get your shot, you get your close shot, your medium shot, your long shot. Uh, always, whenever you're shooting like that, you want to think, how do I do this? I want my close-up shot, my macro, if I can get macro. I want a, another shot of the same subject from farther back, a different angle maybe, and then go back as far as you can and get another wide shot, maybe a couple of different angles. You always try to think about what am I, how am I going to edit this and what can I do with this? I want this shot. I want to go over here. I want to come back here. And then if you want, if you use them, you can use them. If you don't, you, you don't have to use it. Um, and, uh, yeah, okay, good. thanks, Josh, for answering that. Um, so, but if you have a buddy phone and a mask, then you put a, an RX100, the receive-only unit, on, that's all you need to go with your buddy phone. Uh, your buddy phone has a feature in it called continuous transmit, so you can push the, manipulate the button, follow the instructions, I won't get into that right now, um, but you push it one, two, three, and hold, I did get into it, uh, hold it for a second, let go, it says continuous transmit on, little voice in your head, different from the normal little voices you have in your head, and, uh, but it comes on and it says that you, um, uh, uh, that you're in continuous transmit. Now, when that happens, you're talking to your camera. You can, you, you're, you're transmitting. You're not receiving. You're transmitting. So you can narrate to your camera that way. Uh, but that's, that's probably the cheapest way if you have a mask with a buddy phone, not knowing what you have and what you don't have. Um, if you already have a mask with an ear microphone assembly, um, ear microphone assembly and the dual earphones, uh, then it's a simple matter of putting, uh, you know, mounting the speaker on the back as I described earlier in the other video. Uh, of mounting that to your GoPro, you're ready to go. Uh, but it does require that you have the ear microphone assembly and an SSB 2010. Now that's a pretty substantial investment. Um, I'd like to think everybody out there wants to spend that kind of money uh, on their stuff, uh, but you're talking about basically, oh, 2,500 bucks for a basic setup for one diver when you're talking full face mask little bit more depending buy things on sale we 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 might have a sale coming up um so keep that uh, keep that in mind it all depends on what you have and what you need shoot me a note and let me know if you have any questions uh if you don't have what you think you need i can go through a list of stuff uh and we can uh we can get you set up if that's what you're interested in doing um it really does change the way you do things uh it's um you know to shoot video now without audio, it's, uh, it, I mean, it's fun, it, it's, but it's just not as interesting. Uh, to hear somebody commenting about the, the close-up turtle, 
uh, the close-up, somebody just tried to call me, uh, the close-up turtle that you got, and you hear other people talking in the background about the turtle, or, you know, somebody, hey, I got this big green moray over here, really, and you swing on it, and you add that in, it just changes the way you do things, and then to be able to narrate it. If you look at a lot of our videos, underwater videos, um, and I didn't talk about where we get into this as far as television goes, Bering Sea Gold on Discovery Channel, uh, using, uh, using the, um, they, they, they record, they're using hardwire. So they're recording out of the surface station into the sound guy, but they're recording everything. But that audio, think about that television show without audio. Um, it just, uh, uh, you know, it, it would be a bore, I think a kind of a boring show. Uh, it really adds to it. Shark Week, which is, I guess they're, we're coming up on Shark Week here. I haven't heard much. I don't watch much television anymore. Uh, but Shark Week coming up, it does, um, uh, uh, I mean, Andy Casagrande, who's a, a, a friend of the company, Andy just, he makes us look so good on there. And I think he was on seven of ten episodes last year or, or shows. And uh, I think it was maybe the year before last it was. But anyway, we're we're on almost, we own Shark Week. I don't mean we own it, but as far as the pro our product being used on Shark Week, uh, we pretty much own it anymore. The other company that I won't mention, Ocean Reef, uh, they, they're gone. They're, they're just not on Shark Week for the most part anymore. Hey, Alan. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of cool to see. We do, we do get a lot of exposure on Shark Week and others. I mean, it's not uncommon. I mean, I'm on airplanes watching, scrolling through the, the TV shows on the back of the seat, and lo and behold, there's our stuff being used underwater, and you hear somebody talking. Saw Jim Abernathy, a, a TV show or documentary with Jim Abernathy. He runs shark dives on the Shearwater down out of West Palm Beach. Uh, if you get a chance, if you want to go shark diving, that's the place to go. I really, Jim's uh, shark dives with, and that's where the underwater un audio to video, uh, video that we talked about here is, uh, was shot at Tagger Beach. In fact, Jim helped us shoot that. That was shot on his uh, um, 1D, I think, his, uh, uh, his Canon 1D, um, or it may have been his 5D Mark III, I'm not sure. But it's, anyway, beautiful video, and the clarity of the water, it was just superb, and we had more sharks. It was just crazy. Anyway, I don't want to sidetrack on that. Um, so what other questions do we have here? Uh, scrolling through... I only take a look. Sorry, you missed it. So you've got that cheapest way. Um, somebody did. I'm on the. I'm on the wrong video here. I need to go to the other video. Okay. Um, Do at the end of a dive. Bear, bear with me. I didn't want to be there. I'm going into the other one. Uh, time to exhale. Breathing anesthetization. I love these things. Hey, Sean. Um, This was, uh, okay, here's the live event happening now. Are we still on? Yeah, I think, I think this is, all right, I'm kind of confused here. I'm looking for questions, and um, Max, is, Max, you're going to be answered by Josh. Ollie, uh, Ollie Putnam, hi, question, question uh, about using RX100 into a housing lake you had on your gauge what bulkhead connector or attenuator do you need to connect it okay if you're using the the rx100 ro it'll be the eo connector you're using a gates housing what ollie what what housing do you have i'm scrolling up here um trying to find on the facebook page where i'm this video's ended the other one says it's been interrupted I'm confused. I'm still online, right? Okay. Yeah, still online. Okay. It doesn't show on my, my Facebook page that I'm on here. Um, I'm going to refresh it. I don't need to be on there. Um, it's an EO, connect, EO bulkhead connector. I should have brought one with me. I didn't have, I, I have some at home. Uh, but this is different. It has basically a single post with a pair of collars on it. Um, you know what I mean by collars, a pair of rings. And then the, the EO connector itself 
has a single port that you plug the shaft into and it and it, it connects in the inside on the two rings there so it's a wet pluggable connector it's not the best connector on the market i think these are better connectors but availability of these connectors is very limited in a bulkhead we we've, we've had a hard time uh sourcing those out they stopped making them uh they got discontinued on us and um but if you have a gates housing okay ollie there you are you have a gates housing you can um talk to john or pam at gates underwater and they can they can install it for you in fact i'd probably recommend you have them install it i mean i installed mine uh i don't have a problem installing it doing it myself um but if you install a kit that we sell you and you flood your housing not our fault uh not gates's fault it's your is your issue uh if it floods through the port they they're not they're they're difficult to get those things to flood um, your flood's probably going to come from someplace other than that port if you do it the right way. But if you, but John, John will install those for you from Gates. Uh, you can send your housing back to John and, and he'll install that for you. Now the attenuator, if you buy the RX100 RO, it comes with a little attenuator board. I've been after them to change that a little bit. Uh, we've got a new ones that we build individually in specials. You might talk to Ed in our specials department about him building a special um, attenuator for you. He's got a new a new design that we're building one offs of, and it actually has a little switch that allows you to switch for a little dip switch in there allows you to switch from line line level to mic level. Uh, so if you're this gives you line level out. And I'm actually trying to push to get this to change to mic level, uh, to where um, we're not using line level anymore because almost everything uses mic level. Uh, all of our recorders and and housings and, and cameras are recording at mic level and you have to attenuate it down. There are other attenuators that you can use commercially available, Sure, S-H-U-R-E, uh, has an attenuator that you can use to step the line level down. You can do some adjustments in camera. Oh, that's a very important thing that that brings to mind is that if it, when you set your cameras up for shooting underwater video, don't expect to jump in the water the very first setup and expect it to run well. Um, it's, a, it's a system you're going to have to tweak. So you need to go in and, you know, make notes if you have to, to make notes of, of, of what you're doing and how you're doing it. And then compare to what it actually sounds like when you watch or review the video once you get out of the water. Now, we, you know, I've worked in, a, I've got an Edward R. Murrow award that, and not just me, the whole production won it for a, a segment with 60 Minutes, CBS News, 60 Minutes with Anderson Cooper. You can watch it if you go to 60 Minutes, Google or YouTube, search 60 Minutes uh, Gardens of the Queen, Anderson Cooper. And you'll see our, our shoot that we did. It was about the coral reefs of Cuba back, that's been almost 10 years ago that we shot that. But it was, uh, it was wonderful. And the video, the audio sounded great. Um, but, you know, I've been working on this. I've been doing it for 20 years now, and I've got it to where I've got it tweaked in. I, I figured out how to do it. Um, and uh, so uh, my audio, when you watch that video, underwater audio to video, the blue one in, at Shark uh, at uh, Tiger Beach that we have on our video section, it, uh, uh, it sounds great. And in a way, it, was, it hasn't done us any favors. That video just doesn't, people watch that video and then they expect theirs to sound just like that. And I really wish everybody could get video, the audio to sound just like we had there. I can make it sound that way because I spent a lot of time tweaking it in. So you have to do that as well. Now there are ways to do a uh, surface and I could talk about this till the cows come home. Um, the, set, setting up your equipment and doing a surface air check where you're going to do a tabletop and, you know, to check to make sure that it's all working well. I know what I need it to sound like and I've got it tweaked into where it sounds really good. Sometimes you'll get it overdriven. And that just sounds, you know, it just sounds terrible. You just need to play with it. And uh, uh, you turn your volumes down. You can adjust the volume levels in your radio itself through the voice menu. You go into volume, side tone, and uh, receive volumes. Adjust those down if you need to. 
or adjust them up if you need to, depending. And then you mess with your attenuator, you mess with the in-camera audio as well. Uh, the GoPro, there's not a lot you can do to it. Um, if your volume is too loud on your GoPro, if you're using the GoPro to record from your 2010 from the speaker, adjust, step your audio levels down to low if it's too loud and overdriven, and that will make a big difference there. You can adjust some, do some adjustments of audio in, um, in post, in editing, but you can't, you have to be careful with that. If you don't have the audio, you can't make audio. Uh, you know, so it's, it's kind of, kind of interesting how that works. Um, any other questions here that I didn't answer? This is the, uh, we're going 16 minutes on this. I'm trying to see what the question in, whoops, um, sorry, in post, let me, in editing, but you can't yeah. mute that. Sorry. I had to, I had to look at the camera there. Um, let's see, uh, not me. I wish I could work for OTS. It has its moments there, Ed. <laughs> uh, trust me on that. It just has its moments. It's good. It's bad. If you want to learn, if you want to go to work and, and dive for, uh, this, this isn't diving. You do, we don't dive here for, uh, we, don't, we haven't been in the water for ages. And people at the company haven't been to work, have been diving for ages. Okay. Um, is, I'm going to call you Bernie. Bernil? Bernie? Uh, question. Last time I used my Guardian, the exhaust valve seems to have stuck open, exhaled breaths instead of bubbles through this, my face seal. Two minutes in shallow water, the exhaust valve unstuck and worked well throughout the dive. What can I do to prevent that? Uh, oh, okay. You're in the Philippines. I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to diagnose over the, over a comment section, but my assumption would be you probably had the post in here that had locked out. Um, check your, check your diaphragm assembly. If you're in the Philippines and you don't have a local technician, I would encourage you, maybe you want to take our online technicians course. Um, if you're in a remote area in the, in the world and you don't have a dive shop that you can pop into to get stuff fixed, then you, uh, you would want to, I would recommend that you, um, uh, you might consider becoming a technician. It's a little bit of investment, you know, just, you need a magna helic, you need, you know, some other test equipment, uh, an IP gauge, uh, some other stuff that you need to test, uh, the, the other kits and stuff. Uh, you're looking at probably around $700 investment to become a technician, but then you can do all your maintenance yourself and it saves you money on that. Um, Gates, we talked about that, which we work for OTS. Great, John, so thanks. Okay, appreciate it, Ollie. Um, yeah, well, I, I, it looks like I don't have any more questions on this. Uh, if anybody wants to shoot a quick question, let me know. If you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, look me up, John Hot H-O-T-T, -T, in Caraville, Florida. Send me a friend request on Facebook, and you can always shoot me a note. I do a lot of business on Messenger, a lot of business on Messenger. And uh, and I'll answer any time of the day. Uh, it, well, if I'm in the middle of the night, I won't answer, but uh, middle of our night, if you're in the Philippines, that's a different time. So, um, but yeah, shoot me a face, uh, shoot me a friend request on Facebook again, John, uh, H J O H N H O T T, uh, uh, and, uh, in Caraville, Florida. And I'll, um, and you can shoot me any questions you want. Anybody who posts any questions here after the fact, I will be reviewing it and taking a look and answering any questions that you have. But again, as I mentioned earlier, if you're shoot, if you're, if you're diving with comms and you're diving with a camera, it's kind of a no brainer to put underwater audio to your video. Hey, Marco, you're going to have to go back and watch the video. Um, we don't use film on our SAR team. But this is an option if we want it in the future. Mike, if you have on your search and rescue team, if you're recording, uh, if, if, you, if you're diving hardwire and you've got, uh, you know, an ear microphone assemblies, a GoPro on your mask is simple. All you need um, the, ma and the means to mount it. And, you know, we all recommend that you use uh, the rail systems. But to be honest with you, if you put the sticky uh, GoPro mount on the side of your mask, it's not going to hurt anything, and it's a cheap way to mount your GoPro to your mask. You have to figure that out a little bit, but it's easy to do. Um, and then if you if you ruin it and you bugger up your visor, it's you know fifty dollars to replace your visor if you need to replace it. Uh, generally, that's not that big of a deal. 
thing about getting a full face mask for my gold dredge, Mike. It's uh, if you're looking for if you're doing gold dredging, uh, I would recommend you look at the Spectrum mask because you can put the hookah regulator that comes with your system in the uh, Spectrum. If you're driving low pressure, this is a battle I'm constantly fighting with people that I'm not fighting with people. I'm fighting about it. Um, that you want to people want to use low pressure air on their on their scuba regulators um that's tough uh it's just not driving the molecules that you really need for human uh metabolism so i uh, i would recommend you use the spectrum mask where you put it put your the regulators designed for the hookah system on that so um and the comer up using a mark 7 from di yeah there you go uh, there's a, there's a supplier up in, up in the Chicago area, DJ Scuba. Um, so, uh, again, you know, it's a simple matter of putting on un underwater, uh, uh, you know, video audio to your videos. And if you're shooting, if you're dredging gold dredging, there's nothing much more fun than having it on, uh, on a GoPro. Keep in mind too, and I'll end on this, that your cameras see better than the humans do underwater. You'll see stuff in in post or in when you're doing your editing uh, and you edit and in your edited video that you didn't see uh, when you were diving. Uh, it's kind of interesting how that works, but keep in mind that um, you, you know when you're you're going to see stuff that you just didn't see if you've got a uh, camera mounted on your mask. Again, be careful about doing all this look around stuff camera camera mount is your full face mask so you want to be careful and hold it as thinking that your camera your head is that that um, is the camera mount itself so you want to hold your head still as you're shooting video okay all right well again thanks everybody for coming thanks for your questions shoot me notes if you have any questions if you have any other you want to uh, go ahead and uh, post them here i'll come back and i'll uh, i'll uh, i'll get to the questions these videos will be posted on our facebook page i am going to download them here one of my tasks today is to download them and put them on um then put them on uh, uh youtube we're going to post them on YouTube and we'll post them on a, a, a link on our Facebook or on our uh, website as well, uh, oceantechnologysystem.com. So again, thanks for attending. I, I really appreciate everybody's attendance in this. Uh, I, I hope you find uh, the, what I have to say interesting. And again, don't hesitate. Shoot me a note. Ask me any questions you want. Uh, there are no stupid questions. Um, I used to say there are no stupid questions, just stupid people. No, there are not. Uh, no stupid questions. I'll answer any that you have. So, all right. Thanks again, people. I appreciate it. And um, uh, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, uh, practice your social distancing, and hopefully we'll get back uh, open and get back into business. So thanks again. Talk to you soon.